Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. How are you? Okay, um, let's discuss IAS 40. Today's lecture will be regarding IAS 40. I know it's been a while. I uh, was quite busy from last couple of uh, weeks. I could not uh, record any lecture for ACCA. We almost done with the F7 anyway. Only two left, two or three lecture maximum left. Uh, okay, let's discuss IS 40, which is investment property. Let me tell you if I'll just give you a few examples on which on what things IS 40 will apply. First is if you have any property for routine sale if you have property um, for routine sale let me write property if you have a property for rent like if you have a property and you want to um, uh, uh, rent let it for rent uh, then you apply IAS 40 and on this if you have any property but you give this property you dedicate this property to earn rent so then this will be you will apply is 40 on this property but if you have this is your ordinary course of business that you buy property and sell it you buy property and sell it then it means it is your uh, ordinary course of your business if it is your ordinary course of business then you will apply IAS to inventory because in this way you will consider this as your inventory inventory but if you buy property and uh, you uh, give this property for to earn rent then you apply IS 40 in this but if you have construct if you are constructing property for third party if you are constructing something for the third party if you're constructing a property for third party then you book your revenue as per IFRS 15 revenue because this you are not the original owner and you're not uh, you, you gonna you, you are not going to use this property to earn rent or to sell it you are doing some work for someone else so you book your revenue as per IFRS 15 if you have if you are constructing your property constructing if you are constructing property for future future business or to keep if you are and if you're constructing a property and uh, you know that in future you're gonna use it for your business or you're gonna use it you're gonna keep it then you up, you will apply IS 16 oh sorry uh, IS 16 which is PPE yeah because your intention in future is to keep it, is to uh, to do the business with it. So it means this pro during the construction even you apply IS sixteen. But if you have if you're constructing, if you're constructing, I misspelled here. Just excuse my spelling. It's just constructing. Um, if you're constructing, let me. If you're constructing a property uh, for future investment. But if your intention is that you are constructing a property to give this 
to earn uh, uh, rent money or to dedicate this property to earn rent it means you are um, invest you consider this as investment property then you apply ias 40 in this even during the construction you apply ias 40 but there is a matter if you have a land and it is not being decided yet whether you're going to use if you have a land either you can use you can use it for yourself self use or rent i there are only two ways you can get benefit either you're going to sell it or either you're going to keep it if you're going to keep it then you're going to uh, keep it for yourself or you're going to make a property or you're going to make a building and then uh, give this building on rent to earn rent money there are only two ways to do use this land if you are confused that you don't know even whether you're gonna um, gonna be the future use then in this way IAS standard says you apply IAS 40 for undecided land undecided use of land if you do not know what use you're gonna use what you what use you're gonna have with this land you don't know at this point then uh, i standard says put, i keep this in ias 14 investment property but if you have suppose if you have a building suppose i have a, this building i have floor one floor one floor two floor three i have three floors suppose this is my uh, for myself this is for my business okay i'm i'm using this as my business floor two i give this for rent i am earning rent and floor three um it's just undecided yet suppose first example if i have a building i have a building and on this building i have three floors floor one i have floor one with me for my own business so in this IAS 16 individually if I consider individually floor 2 rent money so IAS 40 and this uh, is undecided yet so in this way what you, a standard you're gonna use on this building there is an exception here if you have if you have if you have a lease separate lease for these two or if you have if these two can be sold separately if these two conditions are met then you can apply uh, their uh, uh, respective uh, standards like floor one you can apply is 16 and uh, on floor two for rent you can apply is 40 but the condition has to meet the two, two condition are sep sold separately which can be sold separately and second condition is lease separately if you have leased separate leased for these two and you have you can you can sell these two into different things in two different way uh, then only you can apply their standards suppose in consolidation suppose if parent company has one asset building suppose this is a building building or suppose land and it sells this to subsidiary company if see individually books it is considering IES 16 because individually uh, parent company keeps this building as uh, as per IS 16 and uh, for uh, sorry because it is giving rent so individually it will be IAS 40 because it's giving a rent on this and here IS 16 subsidiary company will be um, make generating or using itself if a subsidiary company keeps this for their self, then they can they are using IS 16 for a parent company using IS 40. But individually, as a group, 
as a group if we see as a group it is a same part it is one of the group it is a property within the group then i is 16 for consolidated purposes we will apply consolidated purposes we apply is 16 because both is same it falls under the same company but individual books in individual books IAS 14 and IAS 16 PP but as part of the group it is the same group within the uh, sale is within the company so this is going to be IS 16 Suppose if you have a building like this and you uh, um, you are earning suppose this much is for the rent suppose this much is your rent which is 10,000 suppose and the rest is uh, you will apply IAS 40 and you want to see which standard you want to apply IAS 16 you, this is with you this is you are with your business which is your PPE so in this in this portion you are earning rent which is 10,000 but for this purpose for the business use is I suppose you have 100,000 income from there it means uh, IS 16 is more significant than apply IS 16 on all of this because it's a significant amount is coming from IS 16 from your use so keep this as under IS 16 IS 40 there are two models one is cost model and one is fair value model if it is cost model then you just need to change the name just change the name Accounting treatment is same. Just change the name to I from IS sixteen to IAS forty, which is from PPE to change it to investment property. That's it if it is if the previous company is using cost model then uh, you just need to change uh, the IS standard only investment property and fair value for the fair value uh, I will tell you explain you with the example anyway but it just I'm just giving you the um, um, writing you the scenarios if it is cost model then cost less accumulated depreciation and then change the name to and change the name to uh, st change the standard change the name only which is I told you this but if you are using fair value model then record fair value fair value then yeah, all changes taken to all changes taken to PNL in cost model if you are using IS 16 uh, all the changes goes to invest uh, fair value changes up and down will go to um, OCI or revaluation reserve but here all changes will go to in IS 40 all changes go to profit and loss and then no depreciation to be charged no depreciation you don't need to charge depreciation if you're using a fair value model of IS 40 because the depreciation will be automatically calculated suppose is is it allowed to change IS 16 to IAS 40 or IAS 40 to IAS 16 is it allowed the question is yes it is allowed and suppose suppose I have this building I have this building suppose 
suppose if I have this building and I was it is under me I was using it for my business if I it is with me then I was using IS 16 and uh, PP this is your my property plant and equipment and I record this as per IS 16 but after uh, one year after one year um, I gave this building to company suppose ABC company I sold it to ABC on rent I give it to on rent I did not sell it I give it on to on rent I let this property out and um, I am earning uh, I start I'm not I'm not using this anymore for my own business I started it um, uh, rental income so i get rental income from abc company now i must apply ias 40 same goes if i was um, if i suppose suppose uh, just to make changes i was giving i was earning rent before i was applying ias 40 and then i i give the money to um to the my tenant i said i'm gonna keep it it i give you six months time empty my property i will start my own business here so when he, i will get the key when i will start using it i will change it to is for 16 i will i will change the standard because i am not now i am not earning any rental money from it i am uh, um, keeping this property for my years off Can a company change the model? They, be, before it, they were using cost model and now they want to use a fair value model. Wait, let me write in. Is it allowed to change the model? Previously we were using cost model and now we change it to uh, cost model. Now we change it to a uh, fair value model. Is it allowed? Yes, it is allowed, but there is a condition that this change represent the f uh, relevance, increase the relevance, and increase the productivity and clearance and reliability and presentation of the financial statement. It is allowed if, yes, it is allowed if that change increases relevance reliability and presentation of the You can, if you were using cost model in IAS 40 and you want to use fair value model, then you can switch the model. You can use the new model, but the the condition is you ha if this change uh, increases the relevance, reliability, and presentation of the fair financial statement. If uh, if you have uh, increased in um, if you have increased in relevance, reliability was being increased, efficiency was being increased then only you are allowed but previously uh, before this standard previously um, you cannot do the cherry picking like uh, what does it mean that if you have a property in uh, say if you have a property in best area of pakistan which is islamabad i guess suppose if you have a property in islamabad and you have a property in uh, suppose uh, one city like a small city let's say uh, any small city like okada suppose if you have a uh, uh, if you have a property in Islamabad or if you have a property in Okada, there are two different cities. Same if I you have a property in London and you have a property in Manchester. 
so uh, before the standard the uh, like creative accountant was doing that they were applying IAS 40 on these and then uh, they were applying IAS 16 on these property different property different scenarios uh, because or they were using IAS 16 here and then IAS 40 here because uh, all the changes if PPE means PPE 16 which is IS 16 all the changes goes to OCI reserve and all the changes in IAS goes to all the changes in IS 40 goes to profit and loss if they want to uh, increase their liquidity or their ratios if they want to uh, show the best profit they switch it to IS 40 or IS 16 differently but now standard says if you um, if you're applying IS 16 for one kind of property then you must apply uh, IS 16 for all of the all of the property you have you cannot do the cherry picking now let's do the some examples Let's say case one question if cost model is used if the cost was model was being used in IS 40 suppose year zero you have a, a and the life is 10 years you have a property cost of property is 1000 and uh, after year 1 if we want I can write the date 1st Jan 09 31st December 09 after one year how you will book the uh, depreciation the depreciation will be 1000 divided by 10 minus a craft value if we have any we don't have any scrap value so 1000 minus no scrap value divided by 10 it means 100 is your depreciation each month so uh, for the, this month the depreciation is 100 the net book value on this point will be 1000 cost minus depreciation which is equal to 100 so it means the net book value is 900 at this point all you have to do is just and you you are using cost model and uh, you don't you do keep this way you do, the depreciation everything will be on the same route because you are you are the company was using cost model just change the name to investment property so change the name so if, what entry you will pass uh, you need to uh, say bye bye to uh, property plant and equipment debit plant and equipment and um, uh, credit investment property right let me see if the company was using i am um, is 40 and they are changing into is 16 yeah if the company previously they were using is 40 now they are switching to ias 16 if they are changing to IS 16 then uh, and the company is using cost model then just change the name to PPE so we will increase the PPE with 900 and we credit investment property 900 and suppose if we are having we were using a fair value 
if you are using fair value model and we are changing to IS 16 to IAS 40 if we are going to use IS 40 suppose the same question cost is 1000 life 10 years in 31st December X9 netbook value will be after depreciation depreciation is 100 as we have calculated before netbook value will be uh, 900 but if we say market value if we say market value increases to 1200 the netbook value will be 900 but market value is showing 1200 then uh, previously we were using 16 so we will book this market value we will uh, because we were using IS 16 before then we're gonna revalue the product within uh, IS 16 before changing to IS 40 so all the changes goes to uh, revaluation re reserve and revalued by 300 if this asset was revalued by 300 and if we were using IS 16 before then we will revalue this asset as per our previous standard and then we will um, change to the new standard we were using PPE before then increase PPE by 300 and credit revaluation reserve because all the changes goes to revaluation reserve Three hundred, and then we will switch to IS forty. Now we will IS forty. We will change to IS forty. Then we will say hi to investment property. We will increase investment property by twelve hundred. This is our twelve hundred, and then credit PPE. Now we will change to. Now we will pass this entry to change the standard. We will say hi to investment property. We will uh, keep bring this in life, and then we will say bye bye to plant and equipment because we were closing. We were not using IS fourteen anymore, so we are not using IS sixteen anymore. So we will in, uh, decrease, de-recognize our property, plant and equipment, and we will recognize and we will say hi to investment property. And suppose if any value if after this any increase or decrease in value will be taken to profit and loss suppose if we have 300 after this if we have three uh, 200 suppose 200 revaluation if we have 200 revaluation after this point revalued 200 in next year and then we will book this as investment property we will increase investment property by 200 and we will credit profit and loss because all the changes goes to profit and loss in IS 40 this is IS 40 this is IAS 16 so this is my point before in a revaluation model you don't after this you, after this this point you don't need to calculate any depreciation because that depreciation will be calculated automatically so this is the main point if you would if you were using fair value and you are changing from is 16 to is 40 then book all the uh, all the um, book all the revaluation as per the previous standard and after revaluation change the standard this question was IS 16 to IS 40 now we I will do one more question in this question I will change IAS 40 to IAS 16 suppose we were using IS 40 for rent now we kick our uh, tenant out we said I am gonna keep this business for myself then we will apply IS 16 suppose uh, the question is 1st January X9 cost is 1000 life is 10 years 
in this 31st December x9 after one year here fair value is 1200 and uh, previously company was using fair value model and company was using fair value model so what we're gonna do is we will uh, we are changing at this point till this point IES from 1 1 x 9 till 31st December x 9 IAS 14 after this point IAS 16 so we will book this fair value as per previous standard so previous standard was investment property so previously we were using this investment property investment property previously it was 1000 now increased by 200 revalued by 200 and um, all the changes goes to profit and loss credit profit and loss and now we will start calculating we will this is is 40 now we are changing to ias 16 now what we will do is we will de-recognize this investment property will be credited because we are not gonna use investment property now so investment property is 1200 this is 1200 and now we will debit profit now we will debit ppe which is is 16 ppe which is 1200 so we will this is the way we switch so before we can uh, change the standard to the new one we will um, uh, change all the changes goes to the as per the previous we will revalue as using previous model and then we will change the standard so previously we were using here we were using investment property and investment property all changes goes to profit and loss and suppose after this point any changes in fair value will be taken to revaluation reserve as per PPE which is IAS 16 so this is our standard if you have any question you can leave in a comment and I will uh, record anything for you you can listen the same lecture over and over again until you understand so I have given you all the possible example and um, I have studied all the showed you all the standard IS 16 IS 40 and everything is done now thank you for watching my channel and uh, please do recommend your friends to subscribe my channel and uh, let me know on what uh, like on what topic you want me to make a video or on what standard you want me to make a video on thank you thank you for watching thank you bye